Blessed Mother, we ask you, especially on this great feast of Our Lady Mother of the Church, this feast of yours, to pray for us that we may enter into this Mass as if it were our first Mass, our last Mass, and our only Mass. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Procedamos in pace, in nomine Christi. Amen. devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Spirit. Friends, we gather. It is a joy to be gathered again uh, as we celebrate today uh, the return to ordinary time. Uh, as we concluded Easter season yesterday, and we now return to ordinary time. Just a few years ago, our Lord, uh, our Pope, uh, our Lord inspired our Pope to introduce a new feast day on this first day back in ordinary time after the Easter season, Our Lady, Mother of the Church. And so we do indeed today ask Our Lady to pray for us and for our church and for our world. So brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercy, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord lives. 
the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall, so shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. Glorious things are said city of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, heaven, you gave birth to the Lord. Oh, blessed Mother of the Church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother, the disciple there whom he loved he said to his mother woman behold your son then he said to the disciple behold your mother and from that hour the disciple took her into his home after this aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled jesus said i thirst there was a vessel filled with common wine so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll I'll just, I just won't stop saying it for a while. It's so good to see your faces and hear your voices speaking the replies. It's one of the pieces of irony about returning to having a physical congregation is that I realize more when I make a mistake uh, because I, uh, I'm sure that wasn't the first time that I kept rolling with the psalm and skipped the response in the course of the past two and a half months. But it is so good to be regathered. You know, part of... Part of regathering, part of the experience that it brings for us as the body of Christ is gathered, and, and yes, in a very strange way, that who would have guessed on Ash Wednesday that we would be celebrating in this manner, people standing in the parking lot or sitting in their cars, etc., and many mass and all of that. Who would have predicted any of this? And yet, it is a sign of the determination the determination to remember who we are as the body of Christ and to be who we are. And the Holy Spirit's determination to continue to work in the church. That no matter what obstacles we encounter, no matter what difficulties we have to endure, no matter what unpleasant situations we have to work our way through, that we will continue to humble ourselves before our God and allow the Holy Spirit to bring life to us and remind us who we are, that we are the Father's beloved children, and that as the Father's beloved children, that he calls us to continue to worship him, to continue to spread his gospel, to invite others to embrace this glorious identity as the Father's beloved children. 
and that we continue to benefit from the intercession of our mother. That as both of uh, all of these readings and this great feast day remind us that to be a beloved of the Father, a beloved of Christ, is to be that beloved disciple to whom the Lord says, Behold your mother. So there's something beautiful and profound. I'm so grateful for this feast day. I'm so grateful uh, that Pope Francis initiated this new feast day because it's so awesome to one day after Pentecost, that's when it always is, if you're not aware, uh, that it's sort of a traveling feast day. It's not always on the same calendar day of the year, but rather it's always on the Monday after Pentecost. So right after we celebrated that the Holy Spirit is indeed the life force which gives the church life. Today we celebrate the bride of the Holy Spirit, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, Our Lady, who received the Holy Spirit, was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, and brought Christ into this world. And so as we are living in a world that is hurting in so many ways, let us indeed confidently ask Our Lady to all in the name of Jesus Christ that we continue to bring Christ into the world. We continue to turn to Him and trust in the intercession of our mother. So we do indeed place all of our prayers in the hands of our loving Father. So we pray for the whole church, for Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, for all the clergy among us in our community who are most vulnerable, who are sick, who are suffering, who are hurting in any way, that they may know the consolation of Jesus Christ crucified and the hope of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the peace for those of Ron Holslander, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the freedom and purification of the Church, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wanders wander through, through the, the world, world seeking, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. With loving confidence, Heavenly Father, we entrust all of our prayers to you, trusting in your holy Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable through God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely by the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your goodness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to worse ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. The highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have Amen. mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take Amen. away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, my Lord, but Lord, only say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. wedding was held in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus performed the first of his signs and manifested his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. Just a practical note about communion, we will continue to use the method we've been using. Uh, so after, at the conclusion of Mass, um, I will go get our Lord and head over to the pavilion uh, so that you can begin receiving uh, in that way. And we continue to pray our act of spiritual communion. Uh, as I've been saying, uh, whether we are about to receive communion or not, it is good to uh, continue to take up this prayer and also to continue to offer it for those who are joining us uh, from home via the live stream. Uh, but to continue to allow this prayer to form our hearts to appreciate more deeply the gift of the Holy Eucharist. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul whether or not I can now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself fully to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mother's, Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks Amen. be to God. Thank you, and Mary, all praises we sing. You reign now in heaven, the King of Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria.